Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be, well, it's not really a Hot Wheels theme, but it's uh, it's actually a matchbox. It's actually not a car, but what it is, it's a boat. It's a, a hydroplane, racing, a racing kind, and it is a Coca-Cola one. So this appeals to the the Matchbox fans and Hot Wheel fans, boat fans, Coca Cola fans. So, and the Polar Bear is on there as well. So my wife collects Coca Cola stuff, or well, she has a collection. She hasn't really bought anything in a number of years. Um, she sold off some of the stuff, so she's kind of stopped collecting, like gathering, you know, going out and finding pieces. But she still has some pieces, and this is not one of her pieces. I actually bought this uh, just for just to do a pour. So I know um, there's a lot of Coke fans out there that might take it just just because of the Coca Cola. Now she is not a big fan of the Polar Bear uh, stuff from Coca Cola. Um, I don't know why, but she just she's not a big fan of the Coke, the Bear. So. I'm gonna be doing this one tonight. So I'm doing a water themed background. So I've mixed three different colors. I've used Artist Loft Just Blue, Master's Touch Thalo Blue, and then a Master's Touch, uh, I think it was Sky Blue. I think I have it over here. So there's, yeah, it's Sky Blue. Whew, I fell off the chair. Uh, so um, what I did was I mixed those three colors each and then I pour them all into one one cup here and layered them. Well, I kind of let them dive down into each other, uh, but I, I did like half of the, the darkest, which is the thalo blue. Then I did half of the um, artist loft blue, which is darker, and then the, the sky blue is the lighter blue. And then repeated that process, filled up the rest. And then I took my stir stick and just kind of pushed it down. So. That is the process, so I'm just going to run it across and do that, and then I'm going to take some white and try to blow it out um, to like for the wake. And I'm not going to use a lot of white. Hopefully, I won't have to use a lot of white, but I'm going to try to go thin and then wide, but slowly going wide like that, so it's the wake going out like that. So that's what we're going to try. So I've already got the like you saw, I've already got the paints mixed. I've got my canvas on here, so um, I'm just going to. Uh, stop this and uh, reset the camera and level it out and we'll get going. All right, so I think I'll start at this end. So this one I am going to tilt to try to get some, to try to get this layered out. So you won't be able to see some of that because it's not in the camera's view, but that's kind of what I'm, what I used to do a lot. A lot of my paintings would be to get the paint out, but I'm going to, I'm going to touch the last bit of it up using my finger sorry if I'm getting in the way but uh, <laughs> got paint all over me. I have to really get my hands washed tonight. I got a show tomorrow. I've got the, I got our car all packed up and ready to go. Boy, I about forgot some stuff. I'm glad I was thinking about it. Kept thinking about it. I have a little collapsible portable in a wagon. 
very worth the money, very much worth the money on that thing because it saves a lot of, uh, saves a lot of hard back breaking carrying stuff in and out. She can't carry everything in at once. So, I think there for a while we had it down to, especially an indoor event, we had it down to like three trips, maybe four at the most. So as you can see, uh, but yeah, I almost forgot to put that in there. I finally put it in, had room in the back, fortunately, and I almost forgot the, my display unit. I don't know what I was doing today. I had other things on my mind. I don't know. It's wild. So, as you can see, I have pretty good watery scene on here. So that works. And, uh, so I got my white. I'm not going to use a. I'm not going to use a hair dryer on this, and I'm going to do more with the. I'm going to do it all with straw. So, I'll get my straw ready. Just to get the boat out. This looks a little dull because the the plastic outer plastic part is actually has turned yellow. It used to be, well, I'm sure it was probably clear. I've had Hot Wheels do that before. Uh, so I have a few Hot Wheels in my collection. I don't know if the sun does that or what they're not really out in the sun most of mine are in the <clears throat> are in a tote so but anyway so i'm gonna go about right here so i need to start about right in there we'll start we'll make a little mark right there that's where i need to start because that's where my bow will go right in there so i don't want a ton right here so i'm going to do a little bit there with that and then I'm going to pour the rest out just like that Straw keeps falling off the table. I want a straight shot back.
All right, I think that looks pretty good. Even if I have to start that back a little farther, I can. About right there would be good. I think that's gonna look good. We'll have that thing about right there. Cutting across that water like that. That's gonna look good. So there you have it. So we'll just wait for this to dry. Hopefully a lot of this white won't sink. Um, it has a tendency to do that. And um, hopefully it won't do that. Let me try to blow this out a little bit. And uh, if it stays pretty close to this, it'll, look, it'll be a good looking piece. All right, this one is dried. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. I have the back taped to uh, get a clean on the bottom, peel that tape off after it's dried. Um, I got seven ounces of Pro Marine resin three and a half the hardener, three and a half the epoxy. I've actually mixed 14 ounces because I'm doing two at one time. So I'm gonna start with this one. Try to get about seven ounces on there. Let's see if we got it. Maybe just a hair more. And I'm gonna do this other one. All right, I've already got the resin spread out, so all I have to do is torch it. The reason is because I'm doing two at a time, so I have to finish up one. I finished up the other one first, and then I'm jumping on this one, so... And uh, since I was going to be torching the other one, I had to take the glove off, so before I take the glove off, I want to get all of it spread out, so that's why... And it's kind of... You can watch some of my other videos if you want to see exactly how I spread it out with just a glove, my hand. But yeah, I decided to, I wasn't going to paint tonight. I'm just going to resin. So I got a show coming up. Today is Wednesday. I got a show coming up Saturday. I did a piece last night and I just don't think I'm gonna have enough time to get it. I'll probably get that one done. Hopefully it'll be dry and ready to resin by Saturday. But uh or to have the take with me by Saturday, which I think I will. But if I do another one, it's not gonna be ready in time. I do have a show in December. Three weeks after this this weekend, three or four weeks, I don't know what it is. Now's the time to put the boat on here. So we're gonna put it right in there. Right there. So there you have it. So this is my first boat one. Um, I do like the wake. I wish it would would have had a little bit more white in here. I'll just put my finger in resin. There you go, Brad. Um, 
So, but it still turned out pretty good. That red and white really stick out on that blue background, the water. So, I think it's going to be a killer piece. Somebody's going to like this, either a boat fan, a racing boat fan, a Coca-Cola fan, or just somebody that just loves this piece. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a keeper. I should back that up just a little bit, maybe right there. There you go. I think that looks better. created a bubble on each side of that all right if you like this video hit the like button leave a comment and as always please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already just hit the subscribe button and help our channel grow thanks for watching